Welcome Capricorn, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of March the 30th to April the 6th, 2020. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing. Always be sure to click the bell button when you do subscribe and make sure you pick the right option and that's the one that says ALL and you'll see the bell ring. You'll get all your notifications immediately sent to you when any of your favorite readers or YouTube creators are out here for you to view. As you know, this is a collective general reading and that means that not all the energy that these cards have will will resonate with all of you but take what you can from it if you want a you know clarity accuracy and answers to any questions then i invite and welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that i offer all the other information my beautiful capricorns is posted below in the information box again today we're doing the celtic cross spread and this is, uh, you know, my base layer. It's always the Angel Tarot with the overlay of the traditional. Working with the four Lennerman cards, three tea leaf oracle messages. Today I'm working with the Wisdom of the Oracle and Archangel Michael. You have your surrender card here and in conclusion, my focus message. So this is the all over crowning energy in this reading, the energy coming in below you, above you, behind you and towards you. You know, you've got a wonderful week here, my beautiful Capricorns to look forward to. This is the Wheel of Fortune and this is uh, you know, being propelled forward motion, we don't go backwards, uh, conclusions, uh, and rolling into a new beginning. Uh, any delays that you might have had that had to do with, that were related to your business or perhaps, uh, you know, um, health health issues waiting to hear uh, any delays whatsoever you're going to see them come to an end because you're going to be moving forward okay you're going to be able now to take the next step forward on your path there is a change coming you into you and it will be a new change of direction but along with that change it's going to bring you happiness more fulfillment this was meant to be to be able to move forward you know you spun the wheel and it's working in your favor and you're going forward now great energy Coming in below you is the moon and the only thing that's going to hold you back or discourage you is you. Okay. Often the moon has to do with, you know, uh, you know, losing your self-confidence, feeling lost, uh, not knowing, not paying attention, not seeing everything in complete clarity, um, you know, turning your back on a situation and not seeing what's going on behind you. Uh, you know, you haven't got all the information perhaps for a certain situation uh, that you're dealing with. So, you know, this card always depicts the graphics of a dog and a wolf and of course the lobster sneaking up behind them they're not aware of. But what it says is you have two options here, okay? You have two ways to go. You can take your innate ability and intelligent and wisdom you've been taught and you can co-link it with your intuitive ability okay your instinctive ability that's what the wolf goes on the dog goes on what he's been taught and then you're going to be able to see the whole picture in clarity uh, there may be some information in the background or secrets that you need to find out about it uh, but once you do you're going to have complete illumination and you're going to be able to see your path completely lit up to go forward with this uh, endeavor this event uh, this phase you're going through coming in above you you've got the strength card and this is all about looking at things in a different perspective uh you're not allowing others to trigger you and have you react that you know later on you're going to regret and uh you know sorry that you had reacted that way you know these are trying times in our world and people are starting to lose their patience and their tolerance and their compassion uh and yet a lot of people are settling in as well i myself have stayed calm through this whole thing i have no idea why uh because i'm innately a worrier uh, but you know what? I just have this innate feeling we're all going to get through this. We're going to come out of this. And, and, and our world is going to never be the same. It's going to be changed. But I am a true believer that it will change us in a good way. So I want you to dig deep in, inwardly. And this is about, you know, realizing that we can catch more bees with honey than we can with vinegar. So looking at someone and their motives uh, that you may be communicating with this week, I want you to step back and say, mm, well, maybe they acted like that because, you know, there might be a root problem here and you know if I'm a good friend or, or family member I'm going to say you want to sit down and talk about it and maybe we can work it out and that's what this is about strength with grace through kindness okay I also want you to continue to step up and use your self-confidence okay 
throw fear to this throw fear out into the universe you don't need it throw it to the curb I do see that there may be an issue here where you will have to clear up some miscommunication with somebody and you're going to do that through that beautiful word forgiveness coming in uh, behind you you're moving on this is the six of Michael the six of swords and it's telling me that you've you've had to deal with situations in your past and now you're moving on in a new forward right next to the wheel of fortune it all makes sense and you know there is light at the end of the tunnel you you still will have some uh, you know your waters aren't troubled you're leaving turbulent waters behind you but there's always going to be challenges for you to have to face but it's going to be easier the challenges are going to be less and smaller and they're going to be ones that you can deal with ones that you can manage and handle I want you to breathe a sigh of relief okay and start making new plans because you are moving forward in a new direction so many of you and you know you may be actually moving away and relocating having to move uh, you know this situation in our world is making people have to do things that they never thought they were going to do right away they may have thought well eventually but now you're thinking seriously about maybe relocating and moving some of you will have to deal with travel okay uh, perhaps when you come out of this you're going to be doing a job or a profession or actually going and visiting and traveling to, to, to either to do business or to socialize and be with family and friends you have the Emperor coming towards you and that's telling you that you're stepping into your strength you're doing things by the book you're crossing your T's you're dotting your eyes and you're making sure you're not going to make mistakes when it comes to anything that you want to do you have that ability to be a good mentor and by being a good mentor you have to be a perfectionist yourself in other words you know um, uh, you know as I say do do as I say not as I do well that's not true this is you doing what you do walking your walk talking your talk and and when you're stepping up to take care of business you're going to be telling people or work and how to do business himself but only because you do it okay you do it you're the example here and this is about you setting up stability and being efficient now okay so you may be the head of your household or the head of your company or or just taking charge of you right now taking charge of your energy and and your business so take charge of a situation okay whether it's you or you're helping other people out there you do have ambitious plans I mean Capricorns are profession perfectionists uh, they're very good at their skilled work uh, you know and I do see you having even more ambitious plans in the future working on them either now to uh, for when you are able to get out there and apply it beautiful coming in with your first letterman it makes sense sarcophagus death card moving on the wheel of fortune said you're moving on the six of swords said you're moving on you're going in a new direction and you know what it's because things have been completed this is about completion full circle past is the past now we're moving on in into a new direction and that's what you're going to be looking forward to so it's the end of a situation the death of a situation whether it was you know the end of a job a phase a contract you had a relationship uh, you know where you're going to live whatever but I do see that it is a move forward in a brand new beautiful direction you've been given the bear and the bear can have to do with governments or uh, you know uh, notaries uh, you know people in uh, command and control uh, that type of thing but I do see that you know this I like to read it and as you know I do read my cards um, I do read my cards intuitively as well and guided by my guides so I do see that you know you will be protected you're going to be protected by this bear this white bear the polar bear is the most ferocious bear, uh, bear of them all and he's powerful and he's strong but it's also about protection protection not only uh, you know in your health but in your finances as well and you know also um, you know your finances is his field and your food is his field so um, the only time this card represents something bad is if the cards around it are negative cards as well so this is a good thing okay um, it's a symbol of dignity and it's a symbol of being protected and it's a symbol of knowing that someone is there in your end of the ring someone's there surrounding you in protection you've got the ring 
And the ring signifies, you know, the obvious. For some of you, it could be commitment in a relationship, a partnership with uh, uh, your significant other or the, you know, the promise of marriage. But it also speaks of a contract being drawn up between two people or business partners. It's an object of value, whoever wear it. So, you know, this is, this is a definite stability here and a contract between two people, whether it is in a relationship or in a business relationship. You've got the sun. And I mean, that's all about illumination. That's all about, and it came in right beside the moon. So, you know, the sun is telling you that you can let go of any any doubts, okay? Any uh, lack of confidence, any fear and worry right now, because you know you've done your work, you've researched it, you've stepped into your own wisdom and your own innate uh, intuition and instinct to make something happen in your favor. So the star, the sun is here to tell you that you're completely illuminated. The path is lit for you. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We've talked about this throughout this very, very good positive uh, reading here today. So know that. Uh, things are going to work out in your favor. There will be light at the end of the tunnel and you're going to get through this unscathed. You're going to be fine Capricorn. Coming in with the wisdom of the Oracle, you got observer. And that is, you know, having a perspective and being objective and, you know, neutral observation from a distance, okay? This is standing back. Most people see the world through a personal lens, right? And they closely identify with their feelings and experiences. So much so that they come to believe that they are the only reality, right? There are times when you need to distance in order to gain perspective and understand. So, I mean, this makes sense right now. Everybody's having to distance, okay? And we're all sitting back looking from the inside out, okay? And you know what, and you'll be, but this has to do with looking at a situation in a neutral manner as well, right? So, right now it's advantageous for you to get some distance from what you're doing and see your work and your projects from a different perspective. And the trick is to connect to the essence of your goals and aspirations while letting the form and timing be dictated by spirit, the divine source. Okay, you may be too personally attached to an outcome and unable to see the miracle because it's not turning out exactly as you planned. So trust it. Trust the divine messages that you're getting from spirit. The perfect vision of your abundance is right in front of you. Remain neutral and curious and watch all of this energy positive energy and miracle unfold. So sit back, look at things from a different perspective, okay? Be neutral right now and things are going to work out. Coming in with your beautiful Archangel Michael message, you got decide to be happy. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. So you know what? Detach from any drama. We can't be happy if we're, we're carrying around other people's baggage, okay? They dump on us, okay? Expect a miracle and we talked about that here. We just talked about that here with observe. I want you to sit down and perhaps the only way you can bring yourself into this happy mode is to, you know, write out a gratitude list. Maintain positive thoughts about this situation and open your heart to love. Okay, so, you know, your prayer today should be, thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy and bliss. I am now willing to see all the goodness in my life. So, you know, let the negative go. You have no reason this week to carry this within you and throw it out into the universe. Okay? Be happy, my friends. Happiness is a choice we can all make. You've got surrender your desire to control people. So you might be in a situation with people in your life right now where you want to control this whole situation. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup and give the situation some breathing room. So this all comes down to basically not forcing a situation or thinking that we can force someone to do something they're not ready to do. Okay, so, you know, again, with this observer card that came up above, I want you to just step back and be neutral right now. Okay, everybody's got to do things in their own pace in their own way. And we can't make them as much as we want to protect them from harm. Uh, you know, sometimes they're going to just do what they want to do. So uh, we only frustrate ourselves by trying to take control of people. Okay, we can't, we can't do it. We can't change them and we shouldn't want to try. So that is your big message here. Try not uh, to, to control other people, okay? Now, coming in with your first 
tea leaf message you got flowers and this says happiness so happiness is coming in absolutely you've got the ring the wheel of fortune you know you're moving in a new direction you have control of the situation with the emperor his strength and the sun the sun's illuminating you the dolphin financial gain usually coming from something you did not you did in the past so you might have worked hard towards something maybe your contracts come in uh, maybe you lent someone money and they're paying you back uh, whatever it is this is this is complete freedom to know that you know something is being paid back in a financial way four leaf clover boy Capricorn you got it all this week great good fortune so I you know this is your all over energy here finishing up this reading before I go into the focus message that things are working out in your favor okay you're going to see things uh, coming to light you're going to receive po some of you possibly some financial uh, some financial a gain here uh, you have the reason now to be lucky you've got luck on yourself and be happy okay beautiful what do you need to focus on well first of all you know, I want you to focus on being happy. I want you to realize that you're going to get through this. And uh, you're so bright and intelligent. And you're such a, um, you know, uh, you're so ambitious, Capricorns. You're achievers. That's what I call you, my little achievers. So, S Spirit, please give me the message for Capricorn for this week. What do they need to focus on, please? Thank you, Spirit. One card, please, Spirit, for my Capricorns. There it is, it fell down. Okay, you got purification. And that is getting rid of what doesn't serve you. That is getting rid of toxic relationships, energy around you, situations, enabling, uh, those types of things, okay? Uh, you know, maybe you're gonna spend time in your house and open your windows and clean things in your home at this time, as we all are doing. Uh, you know, maybe you're getting rid of negative and toxic energy that's been, you've, you've enabled and kept around you in your close circle. You're going to do that. And you know, we're all doing that. We're all doing that by self-isolating. So on that note, enjoy this week because I see it as a very positive, positive week. And I want, I want you to know, I want you to know and remember to never forget my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns, how far you've come, everything you've gotten through all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't all the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was all the times you wanted to give up but you got through another day never forget how much strength you have learned and developed through excuse the noise here but I have a client coming in uh, on a Skype message and I'm sorry about that interruption I need to get into my back office and stop the noise okay remember the universe and the divine your higher power want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace so surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness so blessings my beautiful souls and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you see you soon my beautiful beautiful Capricorns play safe and be safe <music>